Absolutely. You throw out what both teams have done in a game like this. You just throw it out. And I thought both teams played hard. And you, you knew it was, I mean, it's, it's been a grind. I mean, you look at the, the game there last year, came down to Talton, hit that last shot. Trust me, I just watched it again. Um, down here was a grind, came down. And I mean, it's just when you get teams like this and, you know, they're, they're both teams are fighting to win and, you know, um, you forget where, where you, what, what you, in the past. It's just these, these two hours are what counts. Can you talk about the start of the second half? Yeah, the, the start of the second half, I mean, we, 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 did, we started the game. I'm just shocked that we, I mean, we didn't defend at all to start the game. Offensively, we, we were doing, you know, it would, both teams offensively were just having their way. We were just going back, and you, just, you thought it was going to be a 100-point game after the first five minutes. And, uh, you know, I just thought the way we came out the second half, we have a kind of a mantra um, in our locker room that we want to make them call the first time out. And the guys, we were just all, you know, saying that in the locker room coming out of it, that it's going to be defense and rebounding. And uh, I thought that set the tone, the way we came out. We made them call a timeout, and they all, in the huddle, they looked at each other. And, you know, this is, our story has been first half holding teams 30s to 40s, second half giving up 60%. All right. This flipped it. We gave up 60 in the first, um, 61 and a half to be honest, and then 40 in the second. So our second half defense was better, and it started with the way we came out the first six, seven minutes in the second half. Making uh, progress, making progress, do you feel in terms of getting ready for the conference? I do. I, I really told our guys in the locker room, we have to be starving to get better. That's the message. We've got to be starving to get better because we, we have a big ceiling of improvement. Um, I like the culture of the guys. I like we, we're doing things here, and we, you know, like Milton. We saw some athleticism turn the corners and create shots for other guys, and you know, we just haven't had that. And we have to get better. I mean, we can't have 17 turnovers. Um, I thought we've been doing a pretty good job boxing out. We out rebounded Mississippi State. We got out rebounded by one today, and I thought they got some key offensive rebounds. And I'm going to look at the tape, but I don't think we blocked out as well as we have. So we got a lot of areas. We have to get better at. I mean, a lot of areas. But we got to. Our attitude's got to be. We got to be starving to get better. Was there something in the film clip that you saw you season career? Well, we we we've wanted to go inside all year. You know, it's getting into CT. Uh, Christian Thomas. We 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 wanted to um, get it inside. So that's been a, a part we've been trying to do anyways. Um, so it's nothing different than the other games. Our focus. Um, you know, we run a lot of ball screens, so we're always trying to see what, how the other team's guarding ball screens. And I thought they did a good job of switching up. They gave us a couple different looks. Um, but uh, getting the ball into Christian, Nick, those are two things we really wanted to do. I, I know Nick was five for five, and uh, I didn't even see what Christian was, six for 10. So between them, they were 11 for 15, those two players. So, uh, and then O'Leary was two for three. So we played three post players, and they were uh, 13 for 18. So our, our guys did inside players did a pretty good job. I gotta go find out. I, I saw him. He was grabbing a bunch of things. So I, I don't I don't know I don't know what happened. I gotta go look that one up. Well, with these new rules, it does because. You know, you, we, we call it body up, body in. When you start to get that angle, you want to body up, body, body in. I mean, a la Michael Jordan, he was the best at it. He got an angle, he kept you on that shoulder. And you, you, you want to do that with these new rules because the defense has to, or they're going to get a foul. So um, you want to be aggressive. And I thought that's the way they were. They came out that way. I thought they came out and just, when I, they, their first, they were just dribble driving us to death and uh, to start the game. And, uh, you know, Milton was getting, you know, we were really trying to grind some clock, but we were running this, this action we run, and he, he was able to turn the corner probably three times. What are, what are you seeing from Doyle on the game game uh, basis in terms of progress? I'd like to take Gentila with me wherever we go. He's played much better here. Um, he, uh, but, um, you know, I, I think for him, ex ex experiencing situations. He is very, very bright. He is their highest basketball IQ on the team. So he knows when he, when he does something wrong. It's not like, and he knows, you, know, he, uh, you know, he's learning so many parts of it. But 
You know, he's, he's still in his ninth game, and I, I just think for Milton, experiencing things um, is getting better. But, uh, you know, I, I, I still think he can be an elite defender at this level um, because of his length and his IQ. Um, he, just, he just has to, you know, continue to, to get better. Um, he, uh, he has the ability to be, you know, five assists. I'd like a two-for-one assist to turnover ratio with him. Right now it's about even. You know, I think he's capable of doing that, and I, that comes with experience, learning, not turning it over as much. Um, but uh, he gives us a lot of dimensions because he's more athletic. We just haven't been athletic, and he's athletic. Definitely, just because I think the location of the schools, you know, anytime we get the chance to play against somebody else in Chicago, we consider that a rivalry, and we try to bring everything that we can. How familiar are you with some of the guys on the roster? Um, I'm very familiar with a lot of them playing through summer league, just, just Chicago basketball. Get familiar with a lot of guys. Coach was, uh, was talking about your development game to game, particularly here playing so well here. How do you feel you're progressing? Um, I think it's just, just getting into the floor of the game and listening to the coaches and, and reading the offense and defense, just trying to play as hard as I can. Near the end of the game when you were getting in the lane a little bit more, could you sense sometimes when Barbara got like four fouls, some of the guys that were, you know, interior players were getting fouls? Were you thinking about that? Yeah, I was thinking about uh, trying to get him out the game because he only, had, only needed one more left. Yeah. So I was just going to attack and just go get a foul since that's all he was calling. How eager are you uh, to, to get the conference schedule going? The, oh. the new <clears throat> Definitely. Um, some we've talked about all off season, some we've prepared for. So I think that you know, these up next few games and upcoming practices, we should be you know, able to compete, you know, get ourselves in a position to win. The same as he said, we've been preparing for it all off season now. So I feel that we're ready just to make our mark. What, what have you heard about the conference, the style of play, toughness, and all that? Um, they say it's a tough conference, but I feel our team is ready for it.